Radio Master, don't stand still. They're always giving us plenty of choice with a steady stream of new and updated radios and receivers. And they're keeping up with the latest tech and pretty much giving the market what it needs. This month is no exception. They've just announced these Ranger external ERS modules. And these are designed to fit any radio with a JR style adapter. And of course, that includes all their radios, including the Zorro, the TX12, and the TX16. These are all 1 watt 2.4 gigahertz ELRS modules, and they come in three flavors. The Ranger, the Micro, and the Nano. And they're there to suit different radios and different budgets. But fundamentally, they're designed for long range use. Hence the Ranger name, I guess. Radio Master have kindly sent me these to have a look at. Now, I do plan to do some full testing of these to see how they perform. In the meantime, this is a first look at review at what you can expect. And although they're officially released today, November 2022, they're on pre-order direct from Radio Master. And I'll put links in the video description so you can check them out. Hello. And welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is YouTube. You know what to do. So this is the flagship Ranger. And as soon as you pick it up, it does feel very high quality. And that's because the case is CNC machined aluminium. So the whole case is effectively a heat sink. And when you're dealing with 1 watt RF modules, heat management is important. And this also has a built-in cooling fan under the grill there. And these down here are some rather pretty lead strips. It comes with a T antenna for general use, but if long range is your thing, it also has a Moxon directional antenna as well included in the box. And also, being aluminium, this is a bit heavier than the other Ranger modules at 126 grams. On the bottom, there's a USB-C connector and an XT30 connector if you want to power this from an external supply. On the XT30, 2 to 4S works just fine. Remember, a 1 watt external module will eat into your available transmitter battery life. There's also this little connector here, and that's for the included cable for Futaba radios that are CRSF capable. Now if we plug this in, we can see what's going on. It just plugs into the JR module on the back of your radio, like that. Let's turn this on. Welcome to HTX. So hopefully it should fire up, there you are, you can see. Now there's a very clear 128 by 64 pixel OLED display on the back with this little joystick control. And it's got these two assignable shortcut LED buttons. And you can see the strip LEDs flashing there. Now this plugs into any JR style slot on a radio, which of course includes this Radio Master TX16. And you could plug it into a TX12 as well if you wanted. But cleverly, this mount is removable. Let me show you. Let me turn that off first. So if we unplug that, you can undo these th three screws on the back here. And included in the box is this Nano 8 pin module. And that means you can plug this into your Radio Master Zorro which is absolutely fantastic. The spec on this, well, it's 2.4 gigahertz up to one watt power output with a maximum packet rate of F1000 hertz. And the minimum refresh rate is 25 hertz. The power output can be adjusted to suit your region as usual using the Lewis script. And this is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth compatible, so that's fine for flashing and setup. The price on this is $99.99, which is about £85 in the UK, and it's on pre-order now. And there's links to the Radio Master website in the video description. 
Okay, so next is the Micro Ranger. This is the same 2.4 gigahertz, 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 one, one, one watt spec as the Ranger, but it's packaged a bit differently. This is a plastic case designed to fit into a JR slot again. So let's try it on TX12. Put that in there. Like that if I can get it in. Nice and simple. There's no display, so all the configuration for this has to be done using the Lua script on your radio. Again, it's got a USB-C and an XT30 connector for an external battery, and this is also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth compatible. And it comes with a standard removable T antenna. Heat management on this is again a small fan in the back there and these cooling slots on the case. And being plastic, this only weighs 40 grams. The price on this is $39.99, around 34, 35 pounds. Okay, so last on the list is this, it's the Ranger Nano. This is almost exactly the same as the Micro, but it's designed to fit the eight pin Nano style connector module bay. In reality, that's the Radio Master Zorro. So you just unclip that, take this and plug it on there like that. Very simple. Now, this weighs about the same as a micro and comes with the T antenna as standard. And the price on this is again, $39.99. Very nice. And also in the box of goodies that Radio Master kindly sent over is this new RP3 2.4 gigahertz ELRS receiver. It's a dual antenna diversity version of the popular RP1 and RP2 receiver. And with all that improved signal stability, range, and a brand new low noise amplifier on here, it's gonna make a very interesting long range test. And this is available now on their website at $22.99. Again, links in the description. So that's a first look review of these Ranger external ELRS modules from Radio Master. And when the weather gets a bit better, I'll get out and do some proper range and power testing, especially with this one. It's going to be interesting to see how it performs, especially with this RP3 diversity receiver. Radio Master are really on it at the moment, you have to say. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. And I'll see you next time.